Okay, so next up, I'm gonna show you how to do a classroom seating chart. Are you sure about this? I don't know. I'm, I, I think we can let them sit wherever they want, right? Hey, wait a minute. Didn't I see you prancing through the New York Jets end zone with your shirt off? Uh, no, that wasn't me. Oh, weird, because I could have sworn with a statement like that you for sure had CTE. Anyways, let's keep going with the seating chart. Okay, so um, students with accommodations obviously up front. Correct. Should I leave an empty seat for a problem student if I need to move them? Oh, bless your heart. You think you're going to have an empty desk. Oh, your room's about to be more packed than a precious moments booth at a Moms for Liberty conference. Just keep going. Okay, well, uh, these two talk a lot, so I'm guessing opposite sides of the room? Wrong. Separate them and they just get out of their seats or they yell louder to talk to each other. So what should I do? Sit them directly next to each other. They won't expect it. They'll think you set them up to get in trouble and they'll forever be too suspicious to talk. Well, uh, the athletes in the back, they talk a lot. Maybe I should keep them together, but just move them over by my desk. Uh, heck no. Hand these kids a stick of degree and they'll think they graduated. Get that PE smell away from you. Good advice. Okay, well, it looks like it's done to me. One more thing. This kid is really smart. We need to move her to the back. What? She always participates. Don't I want her right up by the board? Absolutely not. When the principal walks in for evaluations, they always go to the back and start asking random kids about the lesson. You want to stack that back row with your family feud team that's going to have the survey saying highly effective. Okay, so now it's done. Hey, I'm your new student. Where do I sit? And now we start over. Plan on doing this weekly.